Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? It's your boy Salty Boy. And we are back at the pier that we started on, the Pompano Pier, baby. Beautiful, beautiful Pompano Pier. It is gorgeous out right now. It's about 70, 72 degrees out. Nice, beautiful weather. The water looks beautiful. Let's see if we see any bait. I do have some nice, nice, nice shrimp. It's a nice jumbo shrimp. Wow, look how clear that water is. That water is gorgeous clear. Jesus. We are going to be trying, trying to target some yellow jacks. The water, the water temperature is getting uh, lower. It's about about to hit that 70 degree mark so we got some nice jumbo shrimp i got three dozen of some jumbo shrimp and i uh, got some mullet that we can cut up for some snapper we're just gonna have a good time uh this week we are going to be in the nyc new york city and hopefully today's a good one be right back all right guys so i'm gonna show you guys what kind of setup i'm gonna be doing this is the setup i always do which is the fish finder whatever you want to call it but we're gonna do it with an egg weight so the water is really clear today so i'll be using light leader we got a two ounce egg weight here and we're gonna put that on first If you guys see on some egg weights, most egg weights, you have a big side and you have a small side. So you always want to put that small side down. And I like to use a little bead to separate my knot from the weight, from my, my weight hitting the knot. So I use the bead to separate it. And we got a swivel, a little sole. I use a simple knot, just twist it around itself about seven times. Seven, and then I grab the tag end and I put it back through the eye here. And then I double it back on itself. So you get that hoop right here and I just put it straight through like that. again we'll do that at the end since the water is really clear today we're gonna use um, probably like 15 15 pound about two two three feet 15 pound mono same knot Demon mustard, three on circle hook. I wish I had two. I don't have two today. I only have a couple more ones, so we're gonna use a three. And the shrimp are pretty big, so it should be fine. And 
S1 setup. And that's what I'm gonna be using for majority of my fishing today. It might vary from leader strain, but that's the main setup. That's what you guys been asking me what I use when I come out here to the pier. And that's the setup I use. So the A weight slides like that. And you have the swivel, your leader, and then your hook. All right, we're gonna get everything set up and I'll be back. So just gonna put it right in the back side of the tail right here. A little poke. Boom, just like that. And then there's, we're gonna try to cast in this area, right in the middle. Boom, exactly where I wanted it. Let it strip down. Boom, let it ride. There, that was a big bite. Good on there. Uh, cut mullet. That was a huge bite. Hope it's not a gummy. On bottom? Yeah. Doesn't feel like gummy. Got some head shakes there. Oh, it's a mutton, a little mutton. And that's a good fish to get the skunk off the pier. Nice one. That boy hit like a freight train. And he chucked it. Alright guys, that's your mutton. A little mutton right there. You got him before he kills me. There we go. Small sucker. Oh, yellow tail. That's a little yelly. There you go. Uh, nice little yellow tail, guys. Got it. The bear could have come and grabbed your eyes. There we go. That's a nice mango. That's a nice mango. First cast, boy. Oh, that's a nice mango. Yep, that's a keeper. As a eater, mangy. All right, guys. So we got some nice 11 and a half inch mango. That's gonna go in the bucket. So I'm being a nice eater fish. Yeah, look at that nice color, light color, white matches the sand. It's gonna be a good fish. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. So we got ourselves another shrimp on here. We're gonna go back into our little hole. Just gonna pitch it into the shallow line. Right at the bottom. Let it go down. Let's see what happens. There we go. There we go. There we go. He's on there. There we go. We got him. A uh, pork fish. That's a big pork fish. That's a big, big pork fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. That's ooh. That's what you call a pork fish. Nice one. Bigger than my hand. Get back. There we go, guys. We got a bite finally. Let's see another mangy. Right. Oh, Someone's rod just went taking off. Nice little mangrove. Alright guys, so we got another shrimp on. Boom. Toss it underneath. Toss it right underneath here. Like I said, mangroves, they like to hold it in their mouth. And then they'll start chewing on it. So you gotta give them a little slack when you when 
the mangoes take it. Pork fish. Nice little pork fish. Shrimp. You use a shrimp too? There you go. Oh. Nice little pork fish, guys. Nice little guy. There we go, guys. Yeah, nice. nice fish on. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice mutton. Double up on mutton, huh? You got him, yeah. Okay, then. Well, he's small, but. It worked, right? Yeah, hey. Get a little excitement on the pier. I'll take him. Nice little baby mutton. Oh yeah, tell me about it. But well, no, I, I can tell you. There you go, guys. You back up. Now you in my blue arm. Back up. There we go. Oh, I'll throw it in there. Hold on, I'll show you in a second. Five fish. There we go. So, same way you're grabbing the rod, mm -hmm. you see this bell right here? That's nice. Yep, your middle finger. So you want to bring this around, right there. Grab it with your middle finger. Middle finger, yep. And keep your, keep your index finger up here. Flip the bell over, this right here. Flip it over. And then when you go back, you keep that, okay? And when you, once you, when you toss it, let it slide off your middle finger, okay? So you don't toss it, just slide, let it slide off your middle finger. Oop. Don't hold on to it. Don't hold on to it, let it slide off. See, like that. The runner. So, come over here. Never, middle finger. Put your index finger up here so it doesn't get in the way. Lay it across. You see, like this. Yeah, yeah let some. Oh, yeah. So it stay All right. Now you flip your bell over. That's a better cast. Don't ever let go of the fishing pole. Because then you gotta go swim in there and get it. <laughs> Oh, you got him? Here, come here. Come here. Go, yeah, go get it, come here. Here. Hold on to it real, real. Go fast. Oh. Oh, man. That, that's a big mine right there. Come on. Get out the rocks. Yep. 
He's still on. Come on, get out the rocks. All right, guys, so I got the fish that cut me in the rocks. A little mutton snapper. We're gonna get him back real quick. He's choked it. All right, guys, so we're about to show you guys what I caught today. Nothing too crazy. Get blue runners. And I got that 11 and a half inch mangrove. We got a lot more fish, uh, a lot of short fish, but I'm gonna fillet these up real quick. I'll put down the time lapse for you guys to see. The blue runners, I'm gonna strip them out so that when we go to the Keys, we can use those for some mutton bait. So guys, uh, if you guys are, are still watching it, enjoy the time lapse with a little bit of music on it. And next time you guys will see me, I'll either be in New York fishing, if I'm allowed, if I get to go fishing, or I'll be in the Keys uh, fishing. So guys, I, thank you for everything. Please uh, like and subscribe. And let's get to this next video, guys. Enjoy.